Hello, my friends. Good to see you again. I'm glad to remind you that you are not alone. You're not going through this time alone. We are together. Refugee Alliance in Norway is a Christian ministry working for refugees, but also for people who are going through hard times. And these videos that I'm posting every day is to encourage you not to give up, but to make yourself strong, to take heart. Uh, to strengthen yourself, even if people don't rec recognize the calling upon your life, even though they don't know who you truly are, you should strengthen yourself and don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Uh, you know what is really costly? Costs a lot. So, but it's worth it. And um, I met uh, an asylum seeker who asked me the other day, and I said, I don't think I can hold on. I don't think I can endure any more waiting. And many asylum seekers and refugees are waiting, waiting, waiting. I know that God for this person is really changing his life, uh, taking him from what he was until the new um, identity he's having. And um, uh, real radical and deep changes in us happen mostly through pain and through endurance. So uh, I just want to encourage those of you who think that this time of waiting has been too long. This pain, I've been in it too long. I can't hold on anymore. Um, I just uh, encourage yourself by this uh, thought that maybe God is doing some really deep changes in me. Maybe he's strengthening my character, my personality, uh, so that I can contain the blessing and the power and the things I'm going to do after this period. This is not the end. It might be a preparation time for you. Uh, and you know, in the Bible, um, it's said that we are vessels for fine use. And, and to be vessels, to be used for fine use for God, they have the inscription, holy to the Lord. And we have the inscription, holy to the Lord, means that God can use us and he can use us well. Um, but holy means uh, separated, secluded. So sometimes when you're going through hard times, maybe you are alone. Maybe you feel that you're left alone. Maybe sickness has kept you isolated, maybe other circumstances keep you uh, separated from the ones you love, from the life you want to live, from the career you want to have, you know. Uh, don't fear. Maybe later you'll be very busy, but this time use it well. Maybe this is a, a time of mercy for you where you can prepare yourself for what is coming. Maybe this is a time to rest before uh, the big thing is happening. Maybe this is a time where you can really seek God and use time to be in His presence and be changed, be changed to His image so that you uh, will be able to do what you should do next. I don't know if you're getting me, but maybe this time is not bad. Maybe the waiting is for your good, you know, even if it's painful. I know it's painful, but in my life, um, lonely periods, period of sickness, enduring, waiting, they've been there. But uh, I'm glad God did not hear my prayers of taking away the pain or taking away the loneliness the first weeks. I'm glad that he allowed me to go through years so that my personality uh, would be changed, so that what I trust in would be changed so that I can trust God fully, so that He is my first um, shelter, so that He is my first friend, so that He is my first in everything. You know, sometimes going through hard periods is a hidden blessing. Maybe it's the best school. And for most of the people in the Bible, who had a great calling upon their lives. They had to go through times in the desert. Um, be 40 years, Moses. Um, even Jesus had to be 40 days in the desert before his ministry started. You know, there is a preparation period and uh, pain and 
endurance may many times be what makes us humble enough to serve others and quiet enough to hear God. Um, so uh, we need some we need humbleness, not to judge others, but to feel their pain, and we need uh, to be quiet so that we can listen to God, and we need to be really. Sometimes we need to lose many things so that we would trust in God. Um, you might need it for the rest of your service, the rest of your life. Uh, so maybe this time is also a blessing for you. Romans 8.28 says that God makes all things work together for good for those who love Him. Also the bad things. So maybe this time it's not a bad time for you. Maybe the pain is a hidden blessing where you <laughs> are prepared, you are changed. It has happened to me, it has happened to many. So don't fear, just breathe, just trust, just know that it's not the end. This is a school and this is a time that God has given you. You might be very busy later. So use this time well. Use it with God. Uh, use it to change the course of your life into the direction that um, will lead you to your calling and fulfilling your purpose. Okay, so may God bless you and don't give up. Better things are coming. Better things are coming. Let me pray for you. Father, I thank you. I thank you for your goodness towards us. I thank you for your kindness towards us. I thank you for your love that never even shakes, that never changes. Father, I pray for my friends that you will bless them today. I pray that you will open their eyes to see what you are doing in their lives. Let them see behind the veil, Lord. Let them see part of the future that's coming for them. Show them the future and hope you have for them. And I pray that you will give them strength to endure. But let them see visions of you. Let them see you, Lord. I pray that you will reveal yourself to them and open the doors for them in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, my friends, uh, I will see you in another video tomorrow. Remember, you are not alone. We are together. And God sees you even when you don't see him. And he is a God who answers prayers. So you can pray and listen to him. And don't fear.